Yeah, morning everybody. I am in the car. It is a Friday and it's 10.30. I've got a scan, um, an MRI scan in about an hour's time, so we need to rush. Um, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to vlog today as well, just because you know I'm vlogging the whole process, right? And I don't know when I'm going to post this. I don't even know if I am going to post any of this. I'm praying to God, please God, that it's just localised. I just, it has to be localised in my head. I can't imagine him saying it's spread, but if it has spread, it's fine. I'll have to get through it. Um, there's just no option. I have, I have to get through this, right? There's no, um, there's nothing else I can do, but please God, please make it localised. I pray, pray, pray that it's localised. Um, I'll be so happy. I just feel like I've been getting bad news on bad news on bad news. It'll just Even though it's cancer, if it's localised, and I just feel like my family, everyone would just be happy. And we've just been having such bad news. Um, and I, like for my family's sake, I just need it to be localised, you know? It's just, any time I think about my family, um, it's just, it breaks my heart. Like the people in my life have been put in my life because of God. And... Because of that, I need to make sure that I have good. I get good news today. I have to have good news. There's no other option, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get through this, guys. I'm gonna get through this. So I'll put the powder in my mouth. I got powder in my mouth. And um, we're at the hospital now. Um, we're early, actually. 15 minutes early. But yeah, let's go in. Let's go. Hi, Ma. Love you. Yeah. yeah, got this, got this. Let's go. Done it, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It just didn't feel real. It didn't feel real because um let's walk and talk. Um it felt like um because you know last time I've had an MRI before, we had it for my birthday, which was like a month ago, and um I was in like 20 minutes and I was out. Whereas this time it just felt so long, I just I wanted to get out. At one point I was like, should I press they give you this emergency button? Because I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea it was going to be that long. Yeah, they said 20 minutes. Yeah. But I guess they're doing it properly now, right? Mm. Oh. I'm going to get Amma. Did you call? We need to call Amma. She's going to be so. Amma's going to be so um, worried, right? Is it? Well, no, no, that's my um, bra. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> so worried about that. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, you're gonna slide. Yeah, I don't know. Not I've got, I've either. got my um, bra. I put my bra in here, just because they told you to take a bra off, and I didn't want to put it back on. So um, yeah, Matt was like, "What the heck is that?" Hello. He's <laughs> like, "You're gonna explode." <laughs> oh, guys, and I got a little bit teary in the machine. I got a bit like sad. Just felt overwhelming but you know what I've got this I've got this and I'm, I'm very grateful like Matt how amazing is it that they're gonna look at the scan straight away yeah, straight away, and then now they're discussing it in the meeting yeah perfect. that's all I wanted that's yeah. all I wanted what time I is their MDT meeting yeah just want to sit in the sun what time is their MDT meeting MDT meeting's at two two or something no that she said it should be now did you call Emma yeah she's coming oh I don't need to sit out here yeah <laughs> So nice. Hi, Emma. Oh, we should get in. Yeah. Get in hey, Emma. Yeah, Emma can drive. It's okay, it's okay, Emma. It's okay, Emma. Yeah, everything's okay. It was long, isn't it, Emma? It was such a long time. Yes, Magister, I'm okay. I'm not stressing. It's fine. Can you Magister? Oh, look. Yeah, Mother, I'm not going to be able to get in. 
Yeah. It's okay, it's done. Yeah. Matt made me a pet lunch again. Well, for all of us. We're gonna eat it. Mm. I've, oh, we've got lots of food in here. We've got this, good corn look cocktail. Up. We've got cheese and onion. Which one's mine and which one's yours? Triangle yours. Oh, triangle mine, square yours. Okay, let's okay. eat. What's in here? Chicken. Chicken and? Salad. Amma. Give us. No, no, you no. You must be hungry. Come on. No, no, no I'm not eating now. Later. No, 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 you're too hungry. Come Everything on. finished. No, I'm not hungry. You need to eat. No, no, after finished, man. No, no. You Thank you, man. No, me. after finished, man. Tell your mom to have one. No, after the morning, Jabra and Jabra. She said she's done the proud thing that she's going to eat after. After, after. after finished, yeah. After, I'm not hungry, man. Oh, please, Amma. You're going to be hungry. Yeah, I'm not mm. hungry. Amma, brioche? No. I would pay five pounds for your meal deal. The only thing that's missing is a cup of tea. Can you say? Uh, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> it was so traumatising. Huh? It was so traumatising. What, an MRI? Yeah, they kept me in like for like, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. It was like, what's your seat? No, Natalie, it was so hectic because they said it was 20 minutes and then the radiologist came downstairs and they, um, they'd they told the scanner person do all the areas. I think they confirm it and they're taking those results to the MDT now. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I told my cousin to come. So I've got my cousin to listen to, like, she's a doctor, so she's going to listen to all the, like, technical terms. I'm writing things down and Matt's going to be there for support. So. <laughs> oh, the tyre's getting squished. He's not going to let me put that on YouTube. So Mizan always laughs about my parking. Look at his. Oh, Sweet on you look good. It's really good. Yeah? Not too bad, yeah. I couldn't do it. I've seen worse. That is pretty impressive. Sweet on the radiologist came down yeah. and Can looked at car? said Sorry. had the pelvic scan, the whole thing. Oh yeah. And they've taken it to the end of time. This is my cousin, Sweet on. It's sweetie. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we need to go. We need to go. Midland. Midland, what are you gonna do? She's gonna be fine. What, Midland, what are you gonna do? Are you staying here with Amma or going? You go, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to have our meeting now. So today is like a big day. And today's the day we find out what the next step is. We're waiting in the Midland Centre. Sweet Tan's there. Sweet there. Can you sing Sweet Tan? <laughs> and then Thingy's there. Matt's there. Thingy? <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> It started off with, I called him Mystery Man. Mystery Man, yeah. And then I said Mystery Matt, and now I'm thinking. Mystery Man. Mystery yeah. Man. I like that. Um, yeah, we're just waiting here because they're having a meeting and then they'll come here and they'll talk to us. Um, that's it. Anything to add? Anything to add? It's nice and comfy. Chairs and comfortable. There's muffins there if you want. <laughs> Definitely not things. That's what I'm just thinking. Do you want a muffin? <laughs> no, I can't Do you want a muffin? No, we're good. Okay. Right, okay. they're going to refer me to Royal Marsden. Okay. Um, uh, uh, has spread to the liver, Royal Marsden, Royal Marsden and then pet scan now. And then it might be chemo. Yes, yeah, yeah, positive darling. Yeah. Positive news, that yeah, could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. So as we said, it's a good, was it good news of a bad I think situation? It's a, I think it's a good, yeah, it's Best a good news. result yeah. out, good of result out of a bad situation. And it should be, this is, yeah. I'm in this situation, yeah. this is what should happen. Yeah, so I feel a bit like, um, I feel last time I vlogged, oh this, oh no no it's coming yeah. this way. So last time I vlogged I was a bit all over the place just because I just got all the information and I was trying to process it. Now it's been a couple of hours later and good news, it's just chemo and a little bit of surgery. I have to have one more scan and it's called the PET scan and I'm being referred to like a specialist cancer hospital. So it's everything we wanted, isn't it? Mm. Oh look darling, it's like me and you. Mm. Away. In what way? Brown away. She's arguing though. They're mm. arguing. <laughs> <laughs> We're home now and my sister's here. Do you want to say hi? Hey. hey. She's here. Amma's here. Oh. Everybody's here. My aunts, uncles, every day it's just been like a party in the house because I've had so many people to stay here, which is amazing because the past few weeks have gone by so quickly. Aston, can you say hi to my friends? Ben, you guys there? Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Do you know where this is going on YouTube? Do you no. remember to YouTube be used to do YouTube? 
Yeah? Now you're yeah. going to be on YouTube. Do you remember I watched YouTube Kids? Yeah, you still do. Cheers. Your brother will finish. Mm hmm. We're sharing. No, I think. Hey, man. Hey. Bye. <laughs> 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 so all my family are over. Well, not everyone. Mimi, Mama, Midland is over there. Mimi. And Shamla, Mami. Yeah. What now? The future. Look, Chris, Uncle. Amma, Chris, Uncle. Yes. All my support sister, Astrid. <laughs> and then we've got Vaini Anna and Matthew Kazan in the kitchen. Vaini Anna, go to Zoom. Oh, oh Pavilion said, yeah. Are you happy? Yes. Very happy. Hey guys, so today it is Tuesday the 28th of September and um, I'm going in for another scan. It's called a PET scan. So I know I had the CT CAP scan a couple of days ago and I thought that was it and I got excited and I was like, yes, I've got my results. But apparently that's not detailed enough. So I'm going in for a PET scan. I, um, they told me not to eat, so I haven't eaten for about six hours now. I haven't had any water, so I'm like, bleh. Um, my mum is taking me today, so it's just me and Amma. Um, what else do I need to update you on? How am I feeling? Stressed, anxious, upset. Like, I'm just thinking about things and just getting really, really upset. Just a bit horrible. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sad. I'm not going to be sad anymore. I don't know what to expect. I know they're putting a dye in me and it's going to be like, they said I can't see any pregnant women or children after, so I'm going straight home. Um, because apparently the dye is still like active after. So, oh, I just can't believe it's like appointment on an appointment. Do you know why? It's like, I never feel like I have closure. I feel like it's like you have one scan and you think that's it. And then it's like, no, we need to do another detailed scan and another one and another. And it's like, leave me alone. It's like, leave me alone. Just do all the scans in one go. Stop telling me one thing. And like, cause I feel like I was already excited about last time when I had the scan, I was like, yes, it's all clear. But this can show something completely different and it's just it's just a lot to take on, you know. It's just oh flipping annoyed at myself. I'm just annoyed at the situation, I'm annoyed at oh. the reason why I'm annoyed at myself is just little things I feel like I could have done before. Like I could have pushed the doctors more, I could have pushed to get private care and I didn't do any of that. Um, it's just annoying me. It's really, really annoying me. And everyone's just annoying me I feel like everyone's just anyone that talks I just want to be just argue with everyone and I don't I'm not that person it's just hard I'm mm. not that person I just keep arguing with everybody and keep snapping I think it's because I just can't like like I know I'm strong I know I can get through this I know that it's just it's been such a hard time it's been so hard <laughs> It's fine guys, I've got this, I've got this. I've been so strong, I am strong, I know I'm strong, I know I've got this and I have everyone. Like I feel like if I didn't have the people around me, I don't think I can do this, but I can do this, I know I can, it's just I'm getting so worked up over little things. So, I'm gonna go and get the scan done and I've got this, I know I've got this. Stop recording. Can you stop recording this? And I had a breakdown. I was have to, I have to refilm everything. Oh, God. Um, you can't refilm. You've got to show raw footage. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get through it. Got to be strong. I've got too many people that, like, love me. And so I have to get through this, right? I have to get through this. And this is the last, hopefully, this is the last scan that they need from me. Um, I've never had a PET scan before, so they said it's about two to three hour appointment. So I'm taking my bullet journal with me. Yes, guys, I'm still bullet journaling, but I'm not doing it like 
I'm not doing it as intense as I was like earlier this year. Did you guys ever buy a bullet journal because of me? I know a couple of you like messaged me and said, I bought a bullet journal, I love it. Some of you messaged me saying, I bought a bullet journal, I did it for a week and I hate it. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys bought a bullet journal. Um, I'm doing it, but I'm more like doing it as like a diary slash sorting out bills and it's just hectic because you know, I'm not working at the moment. So financially things aren't looking great, but you know what, there's bigger things to worry about in life right now. Okay, it took us a while, but we found it. So we need to come to this area. I'm gonna go through the doors. You ready, Emma? Gosh. Um, I feel fine. Now that I feel like we found the place, I feel like we can breathe. We're early, we're so early. But they did say come early just to fill out paperwork and stuff. They've like isolated me because they've put this radioactive dye in me. So my mum is waiting in the waiting area and I really feel alone. <laughs> there was this little, there was this really young girl here, so I was talking to her. And it's just crazy. We're just saying how young we are and we never ever expected anything like this. Um, they told me to drink water. So my mama went and bought me some water and yeah, I feel good, I feel good. Good good vibes only, positive energy. I'm meeting all the loveliest people ever. The lady who put like the cannula in was so, so nice. And the man in front, we're just having jokes with him and because he was saying how I'm so spoiled with like my mum and stuff because I think everyone else comes here on their own. Um, and I kept saying, oh, my mum, I need my mum. I know my mum is waiting for me in the waiting area and I just wish I could tell her I'm okay just so that because I know she's going to be stressing she's going to be like what's going on she probably thinks the scan is going on for this long but it's actually they're waiting for the dye to be like soaked into my body guys I've come out it's dark it's very dark I'm not okay anymore yeah I'm okay I'm, I'm okay. been waiting and they kept saying I'm a princess I saw that I'm a yeah I think they said I was spoiled um I don't think I'm in focus, but yeah, guys, it was okay. I'll update you guys when there's more better lighting. This scan wasn't as bad. MRI is probably the worst because you feel so claustrophobic and it's very noisy. This one, it was okay. I got a coffee. I want to have a little bit of coffee. It's so warm. I said extra hot latte, please. And that was fine. Oh, that's all right. But no, with you and in, it was fine. It's better than an MRI. MRI is scarier and louder. Yeah, it's more tunnel, Hmm. But my head... My head did go in first. Yeah. I didn't yeah, like that. I closed my eyes. I don't like head going in first. I don't mind my feet. I know, I know. I'm home now. I've just um, had a shower and I'm all, I feel very clean. I put like baby powder all over me just to feel cozy. Um, I'm going to put some candles on. It doesn't feel real. Like there's moments like now, I just feel like this doesn't feel like real life. I feel like what I've just, what I've just done is I went to have a scan done to check to see if there's any cancer from the head to my toes. Like, that doesn't sound real. Like, what, what am I talking about? I think the way I'm dealing with it is, um, I, don't, I don't like being on my own. I think when I'm on my own, I think about it more. And um, yeah, it's just, I just pray, like this gets sorted out. And I just, I really, really hope no one has to go through this. I can't believe how, like I was just sitting in the waiting area in the hospital and I was thinking, this has affected everyone. Like I saw this young girl, she was crying in the corner and her boyfriend was there. And I was just thinking like, and this really old lady and a really old man. And I was thinking like, how unfair, it's so unfair um, for everyone that has to deal with this. And I know I'm gonna get through it. I know that it's just, it sucks, you know? <laughs> I've been very strong, right? I've been very strong and I am strong. I'm gonna get through it. It's just, I never, never thought at 29 years old, I was gonna have to deal with this. Like, if I was 59, I don't know, 29, it's just felt like, it's not fair. I can't complain. I have got everything in my life. Like, this is just one more thing I have to get through and I am gonna get through it. So I feel like it's easier just talking it out. Like this is like good for me, I think. I know some clips you watch me and I'm like so positive and so happy, but you know what? This is how it's meant to be, right? It's not gonna be easy the whole way through and I'm gonna have days where I feel like life's unfair. I'm gonna have a relaxing dinner with my man and my mama and um, I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on anyways. So yeah, if you want, subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. 
I will put a little clip of what I have for dinner. Um, and thank you. Thank you guys for always like, I don't have a lot of you following me, but the ones that do follow me, you're real, you're really real to me and you leave me the nicest messages, nicest DMs. And I know during this time, I haven't really been replying back as much, but I do read every single one. So it just, it means a lot, honestly, it means a lot. It's just nice to have that support as well. So yeah, thank you guys. Bye. We've got sweet potato in the oven and this is oh, our set up right now. Yes. Chicken Kiev. What's inside? Garlic butter. Garlic butter and, and snowflake potato. It's actually boiled potato, but we call it snowflake potato because he makes the best, best fluffy potatoes. Then we've got some veg on this side. And that's his plate, that's mine, and football.